Hey there, um, I'm at 20 Lake Court Loop right now. Um, I'm gonna be as discreet as I can, but the home, uh, the, the tenant is inside, so um, I'm gonna probably have to be extremely tactful, and then I'll catch up with you when I'm done. Um, anyway, uh, the roof is got age on it, of course. It's just a, an old three-tab shingle, so it's probably been there a while. Um, and uh, it, not to, sure how much life it has left in it, but it's definitely getting towards the end. Um, just FYI, what is wrong with that window? Uh, that's interesting. If you can see that top left window there is, doesn't meet the top. Hmm. Um, oh, the whole window is buckled just a little bit. Okay, anyway, we're gonna go inside and have a look. Okay, we walk into the, the living room here. It's got kind of a alcove back there with the fireplace sitting in there. It's a, um, Need some carpet or flooring. Okay. Coming this way and heading into the kitchen and dining room area. Off to the right there is the laundry room and entrance into the garage. And of course the sliding glass doors out to the Florida room or the porch. And then here is the kitchen. The kitchen isn't a bad size. It's actually kind of spacious. Um, and these are at least wooden cabinets. So if you wanted to paint them um, or something like that, that would be doable. Um, as you can see, the carpet is uh, aged. Now we'll go this way real quick. This is the laundry room. Um, one plus I did note is that the AC uh, looked pretty new so I found the manufacturer date on it and it is a 2021 model so that's good. Uh, looks like it used to be a gas furnace and they must have converted it just to regular electric. There's the new air handler. Uh, here is the laundry area. Here, the electrical panel box. Need some ceiling and uh, around the conduit up there for sure. Um, pop into the garage right here um, while I'm in here um, it's rough inside uh, it's definitely needs all the cosmetic things how's that like the floor and the paint and uh, you know some of the bathroom stuff the kitchen's not bad though it could be worked with pretty good uh, it looks like somebody read drywalled the the garage out here, kind of just a home job, but it is fresh. I don't know why there's just a screen on there. That's kind of crazy. Anyway, um, single car garage. Go back out this way, and we'll head back here to the bedrooms. This is a uh, pass-through, and it goes back out, circles back to the the living room there. Here's the two bedrooms.
So here's one. There's a lot of furniture in here, so it's, you know, probably bigger than it feels. Closet back here. Ooh. Very, it's a small closet. Here's the guest bath. Single vanity. Not sure. Got you a jealousy window, but a window nonetheless. Screens on the inside. Here is the other bedroom on what I would say is the master. It's got a little bathroom there. This one's got a traditional closet uh, with slider, sliding doors. So um, a lot of furniture in here too. So it's probably a little bit bigger than it feels. Uh, I got a pocket door, thankfully. Some of the openings are narrow let's just say um here is this bathroom um yeah i would have to say this is going to need some windows because that front window uh, they're still like the old jealousy so um something going on there must have leaked Um, I would say that everything except for the kitchen cabinets is probably original in the air conditioner. But there is an interesting uh, little room here on the uh, other side as you go through the bathroom. There's another little pocket door, and it goes into this little space. Um, I mean, honestly, it would make a nice big walk-in closet, or you could put a desk in here. I mean, it's kind of a little office another little closet there so I would say it's about six by eight in here I'm not sure what that is I'll go back out Head out here to the porch. All right, this is the Florida room. You could take the um, all this out and just screen it uh, if you wanted, because there's no heat and air out here, and so closed up like this, I imagine it gets real hot. So we will go out back. Lord, that's a big nest. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Um, okay, so here's the backyard. There is no fence, so um, I know that's something that you guys probably would need. But Um, looks like there was something decorative there, maybe, but there's such a strange outlet right there. Um, 
Go around this side real quick. Oh, you know what? It looked like it was a shed. There it is. That's what it is. Somebody painted around the shed. Um, there's this side. That side looks fine. Here you can kind of see the roof again. Um, here's that air uh, and this is good I mean it's not a huge unit but it is was manufactured in 21 so it is not been here all that long so there we go I'll just take it one more pass it could be real pretty back here in this backyard. These There's these two big trees, and I honestly don't know what they are. I don't even think they're, I hate to say it, I think they're trash trees, but they're kind of pretty the way they're, you know, there's quite a bit of shade. Nothing's hanging over the house per se, but. I'll have to take one more pass back through to the front door. Pantry there. Um, just gonna kind of recap. Um, it is dirty. Uh, it's been a smoker's house, which is you know, you know, you're a smoker, but um, they've definitely been smoking inside. The everything is yellow. Um, but again, paint is not a big deal. Um, I do, I think the, the roof and those windows, um, I can't believe that one window in the front there, like it, there's a good three inch gap there that the AC is just pouring out of. Um, the roof and the windows, uh, you could, the inside is, is assumably cosmetic. You know, you get all of that stuff out of there cause there is a lot of stuff in there. That's the only bad thing about it right now as far as being able to, to gauge how does it feel spacious at all, you know, uh, because there's a lot of stuff in there. But um, I do think that if it, you got it all out of there and, and cleaned it up inside and painted and put some flooring down, um, the kitchen's not bad. It could definitely be uh, worked with. The bathrooms are, are rough, but um, again, I think they're not so rough that you couldn't you know, work with them over time. Um, it's a block home, uh, assuming there's no real big structural, structural things. I think the roof and the windows, um, everything else is just cosmetic. Um, anyway, but definitely, um, has a very strong odor. But again, once you got that carpet and that furniture out of there and put some paint on the walls, um, you probably could get rid of that. But, um, anyway, I will talk to you soon. Thanks.